hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so guys today in this video i'm gonna tell you how to fix guide access not working issue on iphone if guide access is not working on your iphone there could be several reasons behind the issue guide access is a feature in ios that helps you control which features are available on your device and it can be useful for restricting access to certain apps or functions especially for children's or in educational settings so guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you some steps you can take to troubleshoot and potentially resolve the issue. First of all, you have to do is check guide access settings. Make sure guide access is enabled on your device settings. You can do this by going to your settings, scroll down then tap on accessibility. Again, you scroll down and you can see your option guide access. Simply tap on it and you have to make sure that it's enabled. After this and you are still facing the issue then you have to do is update your iOS version. Make sure your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS. Software updates can often fix bug fixes and issues. So you have to go to your settings, tap on general, tap on software update and check if there is any available update for your iPhone. If there is then simply update your iPhone to the latest version of iOS. After updating to the latest version of iOS and you are still facing the issue then you have to do is reset your guide access settings. In some cases resetting guide access, set, uh, access settings can help. To do this you have to go to your settings, tap on accessibility, scroll down then tap on guide access, toggle it off, wait for a few seconds then turn it on again. This doesn't work then you have to do is check restrictions. If you have enabled restriction on your iPhone it can interfere with guide access. To check this you have to go to your focus, sorry, screen time, scroll down then tap on content and privacy restrictions. And if you have enabled content and privacy restrictions on your iPhone, simply disable them. After trying these and you are still facing the issue then you have to do is restart your iPhone. To do this you have to open your general, scroll down then tap on shut down, shut down your iPhone and then restart it after 15 to 20 seconds later. So guys, if this video helps you then make sure to like and subscribe my YouTube channel for upcoming videos and thanks for watching.